Hello everyone! Welcome back to another 2v2 Warhammer battle. This is going to be the Dwarves and the Greenskins, oddly enough, an alliance uh, against Bretonia and the Empire. For my army, we have a front line of four Dwarf Warriors, supported by the Norgrimling's Ironbreakers. I'm bringing Ungrim Ironfist and his unique item, which gives him a 25 second buff of increased armor damage and um, increased bonus versus large. Very expensive. Not sure if it's really worth it. Uh, it's like 220 gold for a 25 second buff, but eh, why not? I never bring Ungram, so I might as well bring a special uh, item as well. Brought a gro uh, Goblobber, then we back here we have two Bugman's Rangers, another unit that is never brought because honestly they, they kind of suck for the price that they cost. They're like 750 and I mean it's cool that they are immune to psychology and they have um, regeneration. But for the most part, you don't really need them. I don't know, maybe I just need to use them more. But um, yeah, we got, we got two of those just because no one ever brings them. And then two Slayers, one of which is the Dragonback Slayers. Then over here for the Orc player, we have a Doom Diver Catapult, two Orc Boys, two Trolls, two Black Orcs, three Orc Error Boys, a Orc War Boss Giant, and then two Orc Boar Boys. I don't think they're biggins. Yeah, they're just Orc Boar Boys. For the enemy, Bretonian has King Lu and Leon Kerr, the Royal Pegasus Knights, two Questing Knights, three of the um, Peasant Mobs. We have three Men at Arms with Pole Arms, a Grail Relique, the Damsel of the Heavens, and two Foot Squires. Then for the Empire, they're being led by Karl Franz on a horse. We have the um, Flagellants, and then I think there's a yeah, there's a Tatter Souls over here, the Silver Bullets, Stone's Revenge, some Swordsmen, including the Sigmar Sons, a Warrior Priest, Jade Wizard, and then we have two Halberdiers and the Demigriff Knights, and then uh, the Great Swords back here. Very condensed formation. Very condensed. So looking at uh, the enemy's army, especially the Empire one, I was like, huh. Like, I bet they have these two units. I can't see them yet. But looking at their compositions, like, yeah, they're in there somewhere. So I, I didn't know if they, I didn't know that they were actually in the front line, but uh, I assumed that they had the Strange Revenge and the Silver Bullets. Uh, but then over here, I think the combat starts with um, my Greenskin ally here. I actually marched up a little bit from our deployment zone so that I can get our Goblob in range onto these Foot Squires. And I'm going to shift my army uh, to try and match the Empire. And you see the Demigrave Knights coming over here. Doom Tower for Catapult, I think it's just firing into the Battle Pilgrim, or uh, Peasant Mob. Oh, no, 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 wait, maybe they switch fire into the Men at Arms? What, what are you guys firing at? Please tell me you're not firing, firing at the Peasant Mob. Go! Oh, they're firing at the Peasant Mob. Okay, well, um, like, mm, literally any of the other infantry would probably be a better target than the Peasant Mob for a Doom Tower for Catapult, but I mean, you know, that's fine. Damage is damage. Damage is damage. Uh, Dimitri Knight is going to get a flanking position over here, and I think they're going to just kind of sit back here for a little bit until the main army uh, meets mine. The Silver Bullets are going to start opening fire here soon. I was going to get my Bugman's Rangers to start harassing the Dimitri Knights, but when I see these guys opening fire, I'm going to switch Bugman's Rangers damage to um, the Silver Bullets. Over here, we are about to have a standoff with the Orc Boar Boys with, and the Orc Arrow Boys behind them, and I think the Orc War Boss is going to post up over here as the um, King Lewin and their Knights just go, you know, boop, 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 and they're just going to sit over there. Getting my Slayers over here just in case they want to charge. And there goes the Silver Bullets. Gonna do some decent damage to our Dwarf Warriors. They really should be firing into my Iron Breakers, but I'm okay We're with them firing there. into the, the uh, Dwarf Warriors. So since they're firing into me, I'm going to actually charge the enemy army because I need to get these Bugman Rangers in position. And if I just held position, they would have had to go in front of my front line, so that, that's not gonna happen. So yeah, we're gonna do the charge here as a Dwarf player. We're gonna set uh, Rune of Wrath and Ruin on the Great Swords whenever it is up. And now the Bugman's Rangers are firing into the Silver Bullets. The rollout to Griffiths is going to go into these Dwarf Warriors. I'm trying to follow them with these Slayers. And I'm going to start throwing these Blasted Charges into the Tatter Souls because they can take a lot of damage from Blasted Charges. Meanwhile, over here, the Orc Boar Boys are about to get in combat with the Questing Knights. The Orc Arrow Boys are trying to t destroy the Royal Pegasus Knights. The Orc War Boss willingly taking this battle is a, is a, bit, is a bit risky. Uh, King Lu and Leon Kerr and his Hippogriff is no small thing, and the Royal Pegasus backing him up is also no small thing. Uh, but that fight is going to be happening over here. You can see the Orc War Boss losing his health really fast. Uh, speaking about losing health, the Silver Bullets are actually losing their health a lot to the Bugman's Rangers. The uh, Dwarf Warrior is going to be temporarily terrified, but they will come back as I'm doing some decent damage to the rollout of Griffites who are pulling back. Um, Karl Franz and his swordsmen are pushing up the middle through one of my Dwarf Warriors, so I'm going to have to actually pull back the Bugman's Rangers. I'm going to intercept with these Miners and with my Dragonback Slayers. Right now, my um, Grudge Thrower is going to be um, shooting into the Stone's Revenge, trying to get a flank action with these Dwarf Warriors on the Stone's Revenge as well. Um, Ungermeyer Fist is going to be now combating against Karl Franz, so they're going to be doing kind of like a 1v1 over there. I'm going to be popping his special item, giving him... I don't even know how much damage does give him. Giving him... I should be popping it. I'll pop it at some point. 
It is an order. There we go. 584 damage. I just wanted to see the numbers. Meanwhile, over here, the Orc Warboss was forced to withdraw. The two Orc Boys were in combat against the Royal Pegasus Knights and the Quest Knights. And they dealt some decent damage, actually, to the Quest Knights, but they are getting routed. I think only one will come back from this fight. Meanwhile, the front line is being terrified by King Lu and Leon Kerr, who I believe dropped a um, Midnight Wind from the Damsel of uh, Heavens. So their front line is doing pretty good against the Orc Boys. Meanwhile, over here, the Tatter Souls now going into my uh, miners who are trying to block off the swordsmen. Nurgling's Ironbreaker. I'm sorry, those dragon back stairs. Nurgling's Ironbreaker is over here with the Grumbling Guard just holding off this entire force along with the um, Runesmith. And right now, you can see I took a lot of damage from Carl Franz and Slugger Myron this, which I was not expecting. I thought he'd kill him pretty quickly, but at least we won this fight. But we took a lot of damage to do it. A lot, a lot of damage. Right here, the Royal Outdoor Griffiths are going to try and charge a couple times, but I am quick on the. Um, Reaction and pulling our Dragonback Slayers, or sorry, normal Slayers out of combat and trying to get into the um, World Ultra Crit Fight. So we're going to push them away, then we're going to put these guys back into combat, and then they're going to try that again. Gross Thrower is now firing into this clump of infantry trying to destroy the Great Sword Swordsman and the Flagellants. The two Armor Piercing Gunners are going to be coming back, and we'll have to deal with them here soon. Meanwhile, back here, the Royal uh, Pegasus Knights are chasing off the Orc War Boss. The Orc Error Boys have been doing an okay job at uh, peppering down the Royal Pegasus Knights, but they are still in operation. Team Driver Catapult's not entirely sure where they're firing at right now. Looks like Foot Squires. Uh, King Lil and Leon Kura terrified and has done a lot of damage to the two trolls over here, including the Black Orcs. Now it's coming over here to destroy my Goblobber, which is kind of okay at this point because I've used up most of his ammunition. So he's going to be doing that, and the Demigriff Knights are going to be going around and also doing that. I'm going to be trying firing at them with the uh, Bungman's Rangers. And again, here come the Silver Bullets and the Stone's Revenge are back. So we're going to have to try and um, fight them again. So I'm actually going to pull back these Dwarf Warriors who routed them the first time, and we're going to try and charge into their backs again. My Runesmith was taken out by the Great Swords, but he will come back from that. Silver Bullet is not trying to snipe Ungram Iron Fist, so I'm going to have to respawn by, I think I throw, yeah, throw in my Dragonback Slayers over here to try and uh, kill them. Slayers are pretty good at killing low armor unit units. Bumman's Ranger still chasing off the Demigriff Knights, who are going to be going around and trying to charge my Dwarf Warriors as they're trying to charge the Stone's Revenge. The um, Orc Air Boys doing a good job here, focusing down what remains of the uh, Bretonian Peasant Infantry Line. But uh, now they're going to be rear charged by Royal Pegasus Knights, but these Orc Boys are going to respawn, and I believe this is when the Orc Boar Boys comes back uh, soon ish. Troll's also going to be coming back. Orc War Boss is still alive uh, back here, as well as this piece of shit. So Car Franz withdrew far enough away that my camera was like this, and I was just kind of shifting like this to look at what's going on. I wasn't paying attention to this, you know, blip over here. So he's just going to kind of sit back here in range, I think, of my Bugman's Rangers. I could have just sniped him and finished him and done a whole morale uh, penalty to the army, but uh, did not see him. And was too focused on what was happening over here. So he's just going to kind of sit back there for a while. Unfortunately. But we are doing some good damage to the Demigriff Knights. We're rerouting the Stone Age Revenge. We rerouted, actually killed, the Silver Bullets with the Dragonback Slayers. And we're just kind of now mopping up the Empire Infantry. Uh, Ungram Iron Fist went on to the Warrior Priest and dealt with the Warrior Priest. That's why he's routing. And now he just killed the Jade Wizard who was in the area too. So Ungram Iron Fist sniped Carl Franz, Warrior Priest, and a Jade Wizard. And is now going to be fighting against the Royal Alto Griffites. Uh, but this is when King Luan Leon Kerr is going to disengage from this fight where I was trying to pin him down. And he's actually going to go after Ungram Iron Fist because he's almost dead. Meanwhile, back here, trying to get my crew back onto their Goblobber for a couple more shots of ammunition. Royal Pegasus Knights have just been routed off. And now the Black Orcs, who were holding on um, so very fiercely, are now going to be overwhelmed by this force. But they are being shot at by the Orc Arrow Boys. And then here comes the Giant. The uh, Actually, the Giant was over here for... Oh, sorry. Over here, just mopping up a bunch of Quest Knights. Doing a really good job, really. Meanwhile, over here, so King Lil and the Alkuru is going to come down here and do two swipes and kill Ungram Iron Fist. Now, this upsets me for so many reasons. Whenever I fight against an Ungram Iron Fist, he's always the last one on the field, and it always takes at least over a minute of me hitting him with everything I have, and he always has, like, a sliver of health but just never dies. But, of course, the one time I use him, fucking King Lil and the Alkuru comes over here, and he's just like, bloop, bloop, and he's dead. And I'm like, what? 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 Uncle Myron Fist lasts for ages against any hero when he's, like, on the brink of death. It's like he has this hidden bonus where he just refuses to die. But, you know, I use him, and he's just like, ah, oh, whatever. He's just going to get bitten in half by Buquis or whatever the fuck this thing's name is. Uh, but anyway, so Uncle Myron Fist dies so quickly. Very upset. Trying to catch uh, King Lua, but he's going to fly out of here because he's a bastard. And he's going to go back over here. Out of my touch. Uh, but meanwhile, over here, the Roosman with his back, so we're going to try and get him back towards the army. We're trying to interrupt these swordsmen and the halberdiers so they don't get into our Bugman's Rangers. 
And then over here, the Royal Pegasus Knight is going to come back. I'm not sure where they go, actually. They may go after the Giant. You can see the Bretonian Infantry has been routed off. I'm going to have my Grudge Sword just kind of hang out and not fire right now because I want to save its shots uh, for important engagements, basically. So now here comes King Luna, what remains of the Royal Pegasus Knights, and their Damsel, and the Grey Rebel Deep is going to be fighting against the Giant and all this, all this stuff. And here comes the little peasant bastards. So now I'm going to go over here, because I'm just going to kind of ignore the Empire Infantry. I'm going to try and assist my ally at this point, but we're pretty slow, because we're dwarves, so but we're, we're on our way. Uh, Quest Knights come back from Ronnie, but then the Orc Boy Boys are going to come behind them, and they're going to kill them. You see Curse of the Midnight Wind being dropped on a retreating Black Orc, which was odd. But, um... Terror from King Lou and the Ankur is going to be dropping on everything else that remains around here, so they're going to be a brief route. And then the Orc Warboss? I'm not entirely sure why, but the Orc Warboss is going to come flying towards King Lou and the Ankur. Uh, and they're almost dead, so this is very odd to me. So King Lou and the Ankur is going to go... Bloop. Bloop. There we go, and just on his way up to flight, he's just going to kill either that or he got friendly fired by the arrows. I'm not sure. But, uh, Orc War Boss goes in to just die. I'm not entirely sure why they did that. My army's still slowly kind of marching across. The Silver Bullet, oh no, Sterling's Revenge is coming back, and they're going to try and shoot at my Runesmith whenever they get in range. Gross is now going to try and reroute the Bretonian Infantry. Why my Buckman's Rangers spend the rest of their ammunition trying to destroy King Lu and Leon Kerr, who's now going to be flying across to engage them, and I'm seeing his flight pass, so now I'm going to be diverting a lot of my forces over here. Because I know where he's going to be going. Since he routed off these Orc Air Boys, so I think they come back. I think they come back. Giant just kind of holding up what remains of the Bretonian Infantry, um, letting my Grudge Thrower just pour its few rounds left into them, and they are going to be routed off once again, leaving the Grail Relique to fight off the Giant. I'm going to throw in a couple Dwarf Warriors, but most everything else is going to be going over here around King Lillian Kerr. I'm going to try and keep him surrounded at all times, so he can't just easily escape. I'm going to drop a Rune of Rathom Rune on, on the Stoner's Revenge, and that's going to route them, keeping my Roots with alive. Grudge Thrower is now firing. I'm not sure what he's firing into, actually. Maybe he's firing into these Halberdiers? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but here comes the Damsel of Life, so I'm going to try and chase her down with the Runesmith. Which is not going to happen, because she's on a horse. Uh, but she's trying to keep King Lewin alive, so you have Harmonic Convergence. He's going to drop a couple more buffs, including the Sword of Corone. But I have him surrounded with uh, two Slayer groups, and, you know, Bugman's Rangers, Miners, Grumbling Guard. You can see me moving units around. I'm just constantly trying to keep him in the center of a giant blob to make it easier to try and bring him down. Meanwhile, you know, it's routing, Orc Arrow Boys are back, Giant's gonna be marching over here. Orc Bull Boys going after the Grey Relic. Demigrave Knight's trying to silence my Goblobber, which has no ammunition now, so I'm like, mm, okay. I don't care about them right now, I just care about killing King Lu and the Elker. Now the damn life's gonna go bloop, and she's gonna charge in, and then my Iron, Iron Breakers are gonna be like, bloop. It's a slow loop because they're very slow. They're dwarfs. Giant's also very slowly going in there. But we are going to route him! Bye, King Lewin! A good game to our opponents. Ungermeyer Fist, man. I don't understand. He, he lasts for at least a minute whenever... You know, he's almost dead. It's, he's always on the sliver of health. He just never dies. But maybe he was sick today. Maybe he was suffering from the flu. I don't know. But he died like a punk. Not like any younger Myron Fist I've ever seen. But before he did that, he did snipe the entire Empire leadership and kill you know, some people. But I don't know. Anyway, uh, Runesmith did okay. My front line did okay. They held. These guys got a ton of kills against those Tattersouls. I think it was from the Tattersouls because they were throwing the uh, Satter Charges in there. And Tattersouls do not hold up well against Satter Charges. Um, Slayers did an excellent job, over 200 kills from these Dragonback Slayers, and they were murdering gunners and all sorts of infantry. That's that's the thing I like about the Dragonback Slayers. Yes, they are ideally for anti-large, but they can wreck any low armored units, like what is most of Bretonian and Empire infantry. Grumpy Guard did great. Goblin 257 kills, great. Bugman's Rangers actually got a ton of kills because they were mostly left alone. Uh, they were threatened a couple times, but I ran interference with Slayers, so that kind of scared my enemy away, and they just were free to fire. So that's a ton of kills, and I mean, I don't know. They're a cool unit, I just think they're too expensive. They do have regeneration, their accuracy is lower because they're drunk. They are immune to psychology, which is, which is really nice. Especially maybe against like vampire accounts. Um, their melee stats are 21, attack 31, defense, and their strength is 31, weapon strength, so... 
they can hold their own probably against most Bretonian and Empire Infantry. I just don't know if I really like them. Because there's so many other units that the dwarves have that are cheaper that will do better against the targets that they would shine at in melee. But I mean, I guess if you spend all their ammunition, they can double up as a melee group. But I mean, so can normal rangers. They're not as good, but they're cheaper. I don't know. I like them, but I just think they're too expensive. Anyway, uh, Iron Breakers just held the line for days. They're really good. For Armed Penguin here, the Black Orcs did well. The Orc Boys, over 100 kills. Oh, probably against the uh, Peasant Mobs. Orc Arrow Boys, for the most part, did really well. The Orc Boar Boys did some significant damage to the Quest Knights. Uh, they, they did more than I thought they would. Respect, I guess. I still don't like that unit. Uh, Trolls did really well. Giant did excellent. And then the Doom Driver Catapult killed a bunch of, a bunch of Peasant Mobs. It should have been killing foot squires, but I mean, that's okay. Uh, then for Elfin Locks, we got a ton of kills on King Lewin. The Men at Arms held up pretty well. Grail Relique buffed all the leadership, did a great job. Grail Knights did really good. and I'm sorry, uh, Quest Knights. And then the Royal Pegasus Knights did also pretty well. And then for Black Phillip, uh, Carl Franz got routed. All these people got routed. Uh, the Silver Bullets, I kind of got into them pretty quickly with my Bugman's Rangers. These guys fared a little bit better. The Tanner Soul still got 100 kills. God. Against dwarves, against heavy armored dwarves, these bastards got 100 kills. That's insane. Um, Halberds did pretty good, and then the Demigrip Knights. They, I mean, they did some work here and there. I'm trying to think what they killed. They killed, they killed some miners, a couple dwarf warriors, grudge thrower. Eh, eh. You know, eh, I don't know. Uh, also, I wouldn't bring the royal. Well, I mean, I guess that was also there was an orc player there. I was about to say like, why would you bring the royal altar sacrifice against dwarves, but. I mean, I guess there, there was the Orc player. Yeah, okay. That, that, yeah, that, that's a safe pick. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the battle, everybody. Let's watch a cinematic view of this conflict. Right. Yeah, take that, great swords. <laughs> All that infantry just got nailed by those savage charges. Iron Bridge is so cool. I'm gonna kick Carl Franz's ass.
Batman an arm's head though. <laughs> While sitting side saddle, or I guess side bareback, that seems risky. That seems very, very risky. Move to attack! The Commissars! It just leaves. You have our entire army there, and he just like, yeah, whatever. Mount just like I had a heart attack because like King Luna didn't even make contact. Bad breath. of Lemons Rangers, there's no denying that they still look cool as fuck. Look at these guys. They got like a... Oh, stop, stop fighting for a second. They got like the... Uh, what do you call this? Tankard? Is that a tankard? Um, with a giant B on it for Bugmans. Like, that's really cool. Their cloaks look cool. Their armor looks cool. 
Some of them have like giant horns. Like they're just they're a cool looking unit. Also, I never noticed like look at that dragon design. This game just looks so cool. Never really look at these axe designs. Anyway, proceed to kick Loon's ass. Go! Hope you enjoyed the battle, everybody. I will see you all. Oh, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.